Reporting live from the Exeter Farmers Market, my name is Alicia Rossman here with Live Free Farm. We're going to talk to Tim and see what he has today. Hi Tim, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good. So can you tell me where your farm is located? Um, so this year we're leasing property from a farm called Winnicott River Farm. Okay. And that is at the intersection of Union Road and Winnicott Road in Stratham, New Hampshire. Okay. And uh, will you be having anything at the Winter's Farmer's Market this year? Not this year. Not it's our this first year. year this year doing our own, um, our own market, our own farm, under our own business. So uh -huh. we, uh, and we had limited resources, so that prevented us from going into the winter market. But probably by next year we'll be, we'll be doing those. Great. Ones. Yeah, everything looks really good. Can you tell us what you have here today? Yeah, so right... Um, Anything. This is uh, lettuce. Okay. This is cabbage, leeks, peppers, zucchinis, some cherry tomatoes. We've got kale, some red Russian kale, and Yum. some butternut squash over here. Yum. Everything looks great for it being your first year. What's your, what's your secret? Just working hard? Well, it is hard work, but uh, I like to think that... It was all the hard work that was put into the land before me. Mm -hmm. um, the farm we're working at uh, was run by several farmers that are currently owning different farms that are vendors here at this market. Wow. Uh, I know some uh, the owners of New Roots Farm in Newmarket, Meadows Mirth Farm in Stratum, wow. and I think Heron Pond. They all got their start at uh, the farm that we're starting at this Great. Year, so. It's pretty neat to be part of that history. Yeah. These guys are really good farmers, and uh, they took care of that place pretty well. So. Great. So what would you want people to know about you and who you farm with? Who do you farm with? Who's your who's like, your sidekick? Who works with us? Uh, <laughs> right now, it's just me and my fiance. Um, she, I'd, I'd, I guess uh, she's more... I'm more her sidekick. She's the one that's been farming for a long time. She, she's got all the smarts and stuff. I just do all the hard work. So, yeah. uh, anything else you'd want people to know about how you, um, if you use any spray or if you're low spray? Yeah. or No spray. We no spray. spray. This year. Gosh, um, wow. Uh, yeah, we, our food's really safe to eat. We're not certified as anything, but we're very strict about how we, uh, you know, what we're offering for people to eat. We want people to eat safe, healthy food. Um, yeah, so. Great. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Sure. I'm, cool. I'd like that. Ooh, those look so good. This year we uh, grew some mushrooms. This mm. is one of the ones that did pretty well for us. This is called a wine cap mushroom. Oh. Um, I grew those on what would have been uh, like waste at a restaurant because mm -hmm. a uh, restaurant in town goes through a lot of coconuts. Okay. And uh, so I collect their food waste and make compost with it. Wonderful. But with the coconut shells, I put them aside and make little mushroom gardens with them. And this year they did really well for us and uh, I'm going to continue to do that. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for talking to me today. Thanks, Alicia. All right. So there you have it. Fresh, local, and sustainable right here. Don't forget to buy local over and out.